Hey Wax friends, Maggie here. Welcome back to my channel. Coming to you from a little bit of a different location. I'm in my living room with my big Christmas tree behind me. I have one in front of me also. TGIF, right? Does anybody else feel like that? I had a hell of a day today. It was just putting out one fire after another all day long. I work for state government and it just seems like all of a sudden everybody's jumping ship, getting new jobs, and then it's the holidays and you've got people off work and nobody has any patience. So it was really a stressful day. But I did get some wax in the mail, so that always makes everything better, right? So I kind of feel like a little bit of a liar because I told a bunch of wax friends that I wasn't ordering anything from Teddy Bees. And I didn't order from the pre-order. But after watching some videos, I did jump in on the RTS. Now, I have a ton of Teddy Bees. I've melted mostly bakery and mostly in my open concept. And I, I've gotten just an okay performance for what I like in, in a scent. So the scents that I ordered have stronger notes in them. They're smokier. They've got Palo, which is my all-time favorite. Probably my favorite oil is, is Palo. So I didn't order any bakery. Um, so I got stuff that just sounded so good. And there is just something about a Teddy Bee's blend. I, I, her blends, I just think, are they're amazing. It, I, I don't know that there's any other wax that does to me what hers does but with the experience I've had you know I haven't had the best luck warming but I'm getting ready to pull I'm almost done with my bring back my bars so next week I think I'm gonna pull a bunch of Teddy B's from last year and and get to warming I really need to so I do have a small order here really compared to what I've done in the past and what a lot of people have done um, and this did come from the RTS so um, you do get a really nice thank you card here with some tricks on melting. And I am going to do it exactly like she says. I'm going to start off with smaller, you know, less is more. So I'm going to do that. Um, it looks like I got one sample and I got it in Jon Snow. And I do know the scent notes because I bought a tub of this as well. So Jon Snow is... Palo Santo, flannel sheets, creamy vanilla, and mint. So, yeah, in the sample, I get the mint, um, and I think I get that flannel sheets, and I think I really like that flannel sheets. Um, I don't think, where are we at? I don't know about Palo, but I'm getting um, the flannel sheets and the mint. So I'm excited about this. And like I said, I did grab a tub also in Jon Snow. Um, these have been sitting today. This one's gonna come out. I'm on my rug. Brad is gonna bop me if I get wax all over this nice rug. Yeah, um, for me in this one, it's that flannel sheet note that's really coming out. So, okay. Excited about that one. It will sit. Uh, we'll just stick with tubs since that's what I started with. The next one I grabbed is Carter. Now, Carter is Smoky Woods, Campfire Marshmallows, White Birch, Palo Santo, Icy Snow, and Vanilla. This one is super pretty ivory wax with some, like a, a slate colored sparkle with some little black stars. I don't know if I can get this one out. Okay, to me, I can't get this one out and I really don't want to make a mess. I have a, a nice area rug underneath me. Um, for me, I do get the smoky. Um, so I get a smoky campfire marshmallow. 
um, maybe a some palo and vanilla. I don't know about the birch. I'm expecting something a little stronger in the birch, but that could be on the bottom. This is super pretty. I know that I'm gonna like this. It's got notes that I like. So I grabbed that. I grabbed Spooky Encounters. Now this is sandalwood, smoked oud, spiced cherry, black raspberries, a hint of patchouli, and blackberry cotton candy. A lot going on there. And I really like this one. Um, I definitely get a smoky berry. Uh, I, without these scent notes, I wouldn't have been able to tell you exactly what berry it was. I might have picked, um, I probably would have picked a blackberry is what I probably would have picked. So I definitely get that smoky woodsy blackberry. I might get a little of the patchouli on the bottom. It's not heady. This is not strong on patchouli. This is not an, I don't get like an incense. I just think this is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Don't open that box. And I think her wax is beautiful. You know, it's simple. She has beautiful colors and then just really pretty glitter on the top. Nothing over the top. And my last tub, you're probably all going to be shocked, but I've never had this scent before. Surfside Sweet Shop. This is birthday cake, marshmallow cream, butter cookies, cake batter, and beach treats, which is Beach Nights. She has a beautiful Beach Nights blend. It's really good. And this is, this is as good as what everybody says. I'm amazed at the, you know, I couldn't tell you if it's birthday cake I'm getting or cake batter or butter cookies. I don't know, but there is a rich, you know, cakey note to this that I almost get on top of the beach nights, which is kind of crazy. Let's see if I get this out of here over the box and then, oh my gosh, yes. I mean, I'm just, a, I'm stunned at how much of the, of the cake note I actually get in this blend. And that's probably what turned me off of this blend, honestly, in the past, because I thought, well, all that vanilla bakery is going to really tone this down. But that vanilla bakery is extremely strong in there. So I do like that. Okay. And then I just got a few souffles. Um, I wanted to try salty lavender. Sweet lavender, salty sea air, and toasted marshmallows. A lot of hype behind this one. I don't buy a ton of lavender because I seem to only think I can melt it in my bathroom or in my bedroom until I actually usually melt it. And it's like, well, I could melt that all over. What is the big deal? Yeah, this is, this is salty sea air and lavender. That is, very interesting. I don't know that I have any other lavender blends with the salty sea air. This is really good. I like this. I'm glad that I got this. This one souffle will definitely last me. Man, yeah. Um, I love the salty sea air note in this. All right. Sometimes Salty Sierra blends, sometimes Salty Sierra is not my favorite note lately. Do y'all think, does your nose go through phases? And I've been hearing several people say that in videos. I mean, things that I liked when I first started have kind of taken a back seat to other things. And then now it's like everything's coming around again. It's, it's kind of crazy. Okay. My next souffle is Jack's. This is wet autumn leaves, moss covered oak trees, cedar wood, hinoki smoke lingering off in the distance. Why do I get a berry? Is there a berry? Okay, I love the smoke in this. This is a beautiful background of smoke. 
and cedar wood. Doesn't really smell green like some moss, but this is moss covered oak trees. So I don't get a green note from this one. Mm, I love the cedar wood. I love the cedar wood in this. I love that smoke note. Maybe it's the leaves that's given me a hint of, it's, it's not fruity, don't get me wrong. It's just almost like there's a touch of a berry note to my nose. And I think I'm picking that up in the leaves. This is wonderful. I can't get over that the smoke is different. This is a totally different kind of smoke smell than in other blends that I've had. This is, Jack, this is very good. This is interesting. Okay. Then I grabbed Basic Witch. This is vanilla latte, whipped coffee, roasted marshmallows, pecan waffles, and beach treats. Ah, oh, hmm. how different. First sniff, I get kind of a vanilla coffee. Second sniff, a tad of the pecan waffles and a little bit of the beach treats is coming out. Let's see if I can get this out of the pan. Sometimes they are poured over the lip of the pan and they're easier to get out. This one is just poured to the top and it's in there tight. But I really wanna see how much of the beach treats that I get. This is interesting. I don't know, do I have any other coffee blends with beach treats? I don't know, I don't think that I do. Yeah, this isn't gonna be a, a strong coffee. This is definitely a latte. You do get the, the pecan waffle and the beach treats. And I, the, the pecan waffle and the beach treats are, are blended well. Wow. Okay, that one is gonna be interesting. I really look forward to melting that one. Okay, and I just got one more. So this wasn't too ugly of a kind of go in last minute. <laughs> and I grabbed balsam and cashmere. This is vanilla balsam, sugar cookies, cashmere cream, and vanilla birch. Okay, vanilla birch, I am a huge vanilla birch fan. I'm waiting for my daughter to walk in. Her and her friend went to take some pictures and I'm sure they're gonna walk in right in the middle of this. Um, yeah, I love cashmere cream. And I love vanilla birch. I definitely get the sweetness from the sugar cookie. And this is, this is light on the balsam, which I am super glad about. Um, I do like the balsam. I, I like bal balsam. But balsam is not the star of this. Just the creamy. Just, this is a perfect balance of all four of those notes. I don't know if one really overshadows the other. The, it, this is beautifully blended. It's. It's not overly strong. Oh, but it is beautiful. Wow. I have to say, I'm really glad that I went in, grabbed a few things, but I am gonna have to get to uh, do some, some real in-depth melting before I buy any more, because I do have quite a bit in my collection now. So, that was it. That was my Teddy Bee's RTS. Uh, while there's nobody around, I am going to pull out a couple orders and get those videos done. I just haven't felt like videoing this week, and I didn't have access to my living room. My office is kind of dark, and, you know, it's just been one of those weeks. It's kind of been a rough week at work, so I just really needed to decompress at night. So, yeah. Okay, well, I will be back with another video. Thanks for watching.